Moa Berries, welcome back to the channel. So we are here for Two About Two album listen. First of all, the lighting today just isn't working. So if it's a little dark, that is why. I don't know, the lighting's a little weird. But as you can see, I've decorated slightly, so it's a little more full in the background. But um, yeah, we're here for the name chapter Freefall, TXT. Third studio album, if I remember correctly. I'm so excited. Honestly, there's 10 songs on this album. We've already heard two of them, technically. Um, Back for more and Chasing That Feeling. So today's part one. I think you're gonna see part two probably the day after because I don't think I'm filming part two today. It just really depends. So we're gonna do Growing Pain, Back for More, TXT version because they are promoting this version on music shows, Dreamer, and then we're also doing Deep Down. And then in part two, we're doing Happily Ever After, Escaping Stones, Blue Spring, which I know was already like leaked and they performed it, not leaked, but they performed it at Lollapalooza, I think, right? I still haven't heard it. I wanted to wait till like a studio version was released. And then we also have Chasing That Feeling English version, which is digital only. So I decided I was gonna do that too. So we're gonna do pretty much the full album today. I've, I've already reacted to, to do it like that. And obviously back for more with Anita. So you can go watch those on my channel. I've also, I've also already done the, the music video title track reaction. So that's up by the time you're seeing this too. But we're gonna do Growing Pain. I'm so excited to get this started because I've been waiting. I feel like TXT always come out with albums like at the times where I just feel like I need some new music and some new things to like listen to so I'm really excited the lighting is really bothering me but I hope it's not as bad when I go to edit it let me fix this I'm also using my old tripod because the one that I bought broke so we have to work with this together all right we're using Spotify I was going to do color coded lyrics but I honestly didn't want to have to deal with it and add them to playlist add it to a playlist and just deal with that if this is a little crooked, I apologize. Okay, we're gonna get started. We're gonna, let me turn my laptop this way. We're gonna do Growing Pain first. I've heard no teasers. Pause already. There's no way in hell it sounds like this. Immediate like. You're joking. <laughs> the guitar. Oh, oh my Jesus. <laughs> Settling the runs going on.
I just know these lyrics are devastating as hell? They give us full alternative rock. For the intro to the album. I'm living right now. You guys hear this guitar? If I miss a member's like part specifically, you can free feel feel free to tell me like who actually got what part. Um, because I'm not using color coder lyrics and I can recognize some of their voices pretty well, but sometimes they still surprise me, so let me know. But I'm gonna save my thoughts so after this fucking guitar. Oh, oh. There's no way we got full on TXT rock song. There's literally no way we got full on TXT rock song. And it's crazy because like uh, the, uh, like like Zero by One, Loser Lover have that rock element to it. Like the guitar is very much like rock inspired. But this that felt full on alternative, which is what I like. That was my favorite genre before I got into K-pop and discovered more. That I mean, we all we've only heard two B sides. Technically, do it like that and um, back for more. And that's a very strong competitor to be like the top of my favorite b-sides but i can't say that because knowing txt like the whole album is gonna be my favorite like it's just like obviously nothing's gonna top like the chaos chapter era for me but i feel like the name chapter like took a rush ride like are we being serious right now they keep topping themselves and that's so hard to do oh my god i love that song oh i have nothing bad to say they all suit that concept and that kind of sound so well it just felt like it came so natural from them. The falsettoing, the high notes, the runs, and the deep, like, rasp. Bum you? <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about Bum you. He surprises me every comeback, honestly. Like, just find, like, finding out what else he can do. Like, what can't he do? Like, producer Bum you? Like, I know he produced uh, Blue Spring, right? But we're gonna do back for more TXT version. I wonder how they're gonna, like, switch up the part, like, because you know Anita. I don't, I'm assuming she's not here. It says TXT version, and this is what they're promoting on music shows. I will be doing stages on Patreon, by the way, but I'm excited. So we're going to do this, kind of take a pause for a second because we've already heard the song. So let's just see how they like, you know, like switch it up. Coming back for more. Coming back for more. If you walk out that door, when I'm with you, it all feels different. When I'm with you, it all makes sense. And I know you to feel no different. Oh, guys, there's a magic to how we live it. There's a magic to what this is. It's like a sweet man, we both take tripping. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 
That's okay. Cause I can't see you coming back for more. Oh my god, this song is so good, like I said. This is my favorite collab. Next to Dobro is because. I just felt like, whoa, I forget, I forget the song's only two minutes, so I honestly forget how quickly Nita like appears in the song. They made that so explosive. Oh my god, wait, this is it again. You walk out there. wasn't gonna react to this because i was like it's just like a different version just just their version like i don't think i should react to it it's pretty much the same song <gasps> y'all the was that was that chai yunjun man i'm not gonna i can't they're promoting this version <sighs> pray for me if you're a patron berry pray for me It's so weird not to hear Anita vocalizing because like their harmony was so good. Like Tan and Anita's voices suit each other so well. So it's so weird not to hear her in the song. But you know what? Just as good though. If you walk out dead. Wow, that was intrusive. Get a break. I feel like this just goes to show like if this was the original version that they released like if it wasn't a feature it still would have been an amazing song like that verse that they replaced with you know that was Anita's part is so good like the, the fact that they even made a TXT version I mean they probably did want to promote it which they are but oh my god it's still such a good song <laughs> I didn't remember a lot of the chords. Just walked out the door. That fucking blue whistle is my favorite part of the song. I can't see you coming back for more. Coming back for more. If you walk out the door. I can't see you coming back for more. Yeah, they ate. They did so good. Okay, that was back from our TXT version. I'm actually really glad I reacted to that. Okay, now we have Dreamer. <sighs> it's already sounding a little slower, so hopefully I won't lose my life. All right, we're gonna do Dreamer now. Let's do it. Ooh. I already like the, so that's a guitar, right? I like the strumming of it. Oh my god. Oh, wow. of shampoo gives like the funky kind of like old like the 
I don't know how to describe it, but it's giving like a, a older vibe, but I like it. The tones that they're using, the way, he, that was Human Kai who started it, right? Like, why did he just come at me like that? I've noticed too, all the songs on this album are like fairly short. For them, I mean, some of them are like barely three minutes. I feel like I haven't realized how obsessed I am with like runs and falsettos, but the way Yeonjun did that. This is really a bitch. This is really high. Oh my god. This thing that sounds like Subin, but it can also be bummed you. Like I swear TXC like morph into each other sometimes because <laughs> like that is like a lot of wordplay and their lyrics hit where like they hit close to home so i'm really like excited to like look at lyrics and like gonna like to connect the vibe of the song to the lyrics if that makes sense oh, i love their voices on the show after listening to that this is such a different vibe than the rest of the album i mean so far from what we've heard it's different like growing pain we got the full rock version chasing that feeling is more i don't know how to describe chasing that feeling i don't, I don't even know what genre to put that under but also like growing pain like all of the f like for, so far the first four songs if you listen to it in order are all different vibes but it's the way that TXC have always done that, but the whole album still feels like really cohesive and that it goes really well together. I like that a lot. I Like I said, I really, I know TXC are like solid on their lyrics. So like, I know when to look at the lyrics and be like, oh my God, I love this song even more. Cause I'm also a lyric person as much as I love like melodies and falsettos and everything like that. 
if if it sounds good but then also the lyrics are great it just makes the song that much better so i'm really excited to look at the lyrics but from obviously we can only hear vocals right now they sound amazing this was so high pitched i think this is like it reminds me of like a lot of their one of their older i think it's amazingly mirror if i'm thinking of the b-side i don't know if that's a b-side that it reminds me of but that kind of like eerie dark like i don't say grungy but that like i guess grungy vibe it kind of reminds me of like how fairy of shampoo makes me feel too like it kind of has that um not a cello what is that like a no not a heart but it has like that kind of same similar vibe to it but yeah i liked it a lot so that was dreamer last b-side for part one of this album listen is deep down which i've heard a lot about the song i haven't heard any snippets but i've heard like a lot of people love this song is it good? Oh. Why am I going to start crying? Oh my tears falling down my face and then give me this drop anti-drop but it makes sense no because the beginning of it started so pretty This beat threw me off. Like, I was about to start falling and then. I did not expect it to sound like that. I mean, I kind of expected it to be a slower, more like emotional song, but the way it started was so like, you're gonna cry. And then the beat, like the beat drop kind of like threw me, threw me off in a good way, like not in a bad way, but it threw me off because I thought it was gonna be like, a, I don't know. The way they did that though, was a very like emotional pull. Like if someone was in a vulnerable state and that song turned on, they would be sobbing for hours they as in me like that is a really pretty song like just even just hearing like deep down i need you more like i already know the song is like s extremely sad it just has that emotional like ring and like toll to it that i honestly can't wait to look at the lyrics like i, I relate to a lot of txc's music and that's why they're one of my old groups and they always will be their lyrics mean a lot to me because i relate to a lot of them 
and i know like this is kind of like reminiscent on all of their past eras and every single one of their eras has just it's just txt have like one of the best concepts out there and one of they the way they write their lyrics is just so pretty like it's just, i don't know how they do it but they do an amazing job but i love deep down like although it's a sadder song i can definitely see myself listening to that on repeat like it just has it has that emotional toll to it but it also it's it, it feels very comforting like it kind of makes you feel like you're not alone and you know there's that song to listen to but yeah that was the four songs for besides we got to today growing pain back for more txt version which they ate that shit up dreamer and deep down moa berries thank you for joining me for part one of the name chapter free fall album listening party i'm so excited to finish up this album in part two we have happily ever after skipping stones blue spring and the english version of chasing that feeling because i've already do it i've already done do it like that so if you want to watch those reactions i'll have them linked in my txc playlist i'll link above me and it'll be linked in the description and after this video so if you want to watch everything else you can yes thank you for joining me for part one and i'll see you for part two which i think i'll I'll probably be uploading the day after you're seeing this but if not then you'll be informed when it's being uploaded but again thank you for joining me and i'll see you for part two and for the comeback endeavors on patreon so i'll see you soon bye